Okay, so in this horse race, uh, I'm trading uh, on Betfair and I'm trading on the Newberry, Newberry race. I'm using uh, 200 pound stakes here. So what we're going to do here is, uh, you can see the market here is very, very flat. You can see that the, the traded ranges are very narrow, as you can see, right? And um, so this here is a very solid race in terms of um, uh, the quality. Um, so also here you can see it's a, it's a very small field here, seven horses. Um, and uh, right now there's no real indicator in terms of um, any movement, okay? Uh, but you can see here now, oh, it's, drif it's drifting off this, um, this uh, the favor here. Uh, I'm just going to hop in here. Uh, probably, I think, with a quick 200 pound scalp here, if possible. So you can see there that uh, part of that got taken, but not all of it. Uh, so I'll probably just scratch that off there and take, take the price, as it were. And I'll leave that there. Okay. And um, as you can see now, also this one here at the top of this range. The trouble with trading these types of races is that uh, because there's not a lot of there's not a lot of, a lot of movement, uh, so it can be quite nerve wracking to actually enter a trade because you're never quite sure what's going to happen. Uh, I, I personally I find it more comforting when it's, uh, when the market is erratic uh, because there's more there's more uh, movement um, up and down. So you can see here now the second over here is approaching bottom's range, or it was rather even though it's very, very narrow. <laughs> and this one here is definitely looking like it's going to start drifting because it's definitely pushing up against the, the top of his range here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead here and hop in here with a turn pass stake on the favorite here, just, just as a speculative thing. Because um, it does seem like this one here is starting to drift slowly, but it, it does seem like it. So here, now you can see here, I'm looking here at the 1.8. I want money to be matched here, uh, not 1.9. Um, but you can see here now it's not really looking like it's going to happen. I'll just try this up here, just to try and get ahead of the queue, to try and scratch that, scratch that trade. And now it's going back up again, as you can see. We're going to hop in here as well for a quick scalp on this one here, if I, if I can get that matched. One good thing, one, one good thing about these stable races is that if or when the price does go against you, you don't need to panic too much because it's, it's not going to go rushing off um, your 10, 15 ticks against you. Um, so it looks like I may have missed this one here for now. Take that one out for now. And you can see here now that my horse is looking like it's going to, is lining up towards the front, which is probably going to help my position here uh, because it most likely means this price is going to come down a few ticks uh, as they start lining up. So I'm quite comfortable to leave. I'm quite comfortable to leave this here now. Also, you can see here the favourite here um, is right at the back. Again, that's going to probably going to help nudge that one further out because obviously, you know, as they towards come towards the the off, you know, uh, in play uh, traders start coming in, and obviously, any horses that are towards front here, as you can see now, oops, coming down, uh, is going to be helping that. So you can see here now, this here should hopefully be taken. But now look, look, look how quickly look, look how quickly that changed. Now, now, now this horse here is nowhere near the front, and that's uh, that's changing that there. So, um, what I'll do now is I'm probably going to dry it up here to scratch this trade, because uh, obviously now you know they they are now going off in a few seconds. But you can see here this, this one here is definitely looking like it wants to be a front a front runner. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and let this go and play. Uh, because it is a very long race here, and I'm I'm very comfortable uh, because I've got a very good feeling here. This this horse here is going to actually be a front runner contender, which means the price here is going to come down uh, and take um, and take you know, four point nine, four point eight, or whatever. Uh, so I'm quite comfortable to leave that. So you can see there, they're now going to play. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, pop in my exit point here. Now, for clarity, I want to say that also don't do this here uh, on, a, on a regular basis because uh, this kind of thing is very risky. As you can see there, my, the the you know my horse went to the front there. You know, I could I could have gone way way long if, if further down, right? Um, uh, but obviously, because I you know I, I knew that that horse was most likely to be a, be a front runner, so that's fine, okay, for me, right? Um, so you can see it now that I've now got a forty pound free bet on the Indy Five, um, five pound free bet here. And so you know, I've got basically two two out of seven horses covered uh, for a potential profit, or I can take the eleven pound profit here. So, you know, for me personally, uh, given you know I've got nothing to lose, uh, 
I'm going to move on to the next race here, but I'm probably just going to take the I'm probably just going to take the 12 pounds here, uh, just to keep it simple. Okay, so you can see now a nice 12 pound profit here across all the horses. Okay, uh, I want to reiterate reiterate this here, guys. Uh, please do not go in play unless you're very very comfortable. Uh, with what's going to happen, okay? Uh, because obviously, uh, going in play is very risky, especially, especially if you're doing, uh, if you're using large stakes. Um, so, uh, as a rule of thumb, guys, unless you're completely comfortable, do not go in play, okay? Just so you know that. Uh, but while I'm doing that, guys, I'll now go ahead and skip to the next race, and uh, we'll keep uh, keep trading.